The Bambara groundnut is a traditional food crop largely cultivated by farmers in the northern part of Ghana. In most parts of the Upper East region, Bambara groundnuts are used in preparing meals for funerals and making local pastries like kose. Despite the importance of this crop, the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research has found that farmers are not cultivating uh, the crop in large quantities because they regularly record low yields. The Institute has therefore introduced some new varieties to improve yields. Correspondent Albert Sori has more. The Bambara granot is a leguminous crop grown for food. It is sometimes called Bambara bean and is similar to the regular beans or cowpea. Bambara granot is highly rich in protein. In the Upper East region, Bambara granite seeds are commonly called suma and are very important in the traditional settings mainly because many foods prepared during the performance of funerals are from Bambara granites. They are also used for making pastries like the popular kose which is consumed with Hausa cocoa for breakfast by many Ghanaians. Bambara granites can also be cooked fresh or after they have been dried. But despite the importance of this food crop, farmers in the Upper East region have over the years reduced the quantity of Bambara granite they cultivate during the farming seasons. According to some of the farmers, pest infestations and low yields account for their lack of interest in growing Bambara granites. This is the biggest thing is the, the climate change, like uh, shortage of rain or erratic rainfall. And then uh, whenever there's too much rain, the plants are not there. The plants are too much rain, that very year they don't have a speed. The Plant Genetic Resources Research Institute of the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research has therefore introduced some farmer varieties of Bambara granite to farmers in the Binduri and Timpani districts of the Upper East region for trials on their farms. The institute hopes that the move will enable farmers to identify Bambara granite types that are suited to their specific farming conditions and encourage more farmers to grow the food crop as it could contribute significantly to improving Ghana's food security. Some of the farmer varieties introduced to the farmers are tolerant to drought and can withstand pest and disease infestation. They are also high yielding and have an early maturity period unlike the traditional varieties previously grown by the farmers. Dr. Daniel Ashi Koti is the acting director for the Plant Genetic Resources Research Institute of the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research. Field trials that are being participatory field trials that are being conducted with farmers would lead to farmers selecting Bambara granite genotypes that are suited to their farming context. And once they do that, input dealers or seed producers who are part of the germplasm user groups would now come on board and pick up these seeds or seeds of these uh, selected genotypes and multiply them. But prior to multiplication, these seed producers will be given training on how to produce quality seeds. The farmer varieties of Bambara granites are being distributed under the Seed for Resilience project, which is being implemented in Ghana and four other African countries under the auspices of the Global Crop Diversity Trust based in Germany. The project is being implemented at areas that are designated as hotspots for climate change uh, and its uh, effects. And the focus crops for these areas is Bambara granite. And uh, the focus crops for the northern region is uh, indigenous leafy vegetables, which are all nutritious. Patrick Atama is a plant breeder at the Manga Station of the Savannah Agriculture Research Institute of the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research. His outfit is the local collaborator implementing the project in the Upper East region. 
Over the years, we, as the Gem Bank has collections of um, different assessions of um, Bambara granite, and our responsibility here is actually test them on station and then select the varieties that have promise before giving it out to the farmers to test it on their fields. The farmers have welcomed the new farmer varieties of Bambara granots with high hopes of getting improved yields that could motivate them to go into commercial production of this very important traditional food crop. See, I see that after planting, some of them are growing well compared to hers on the farm. So she expects that there, there will be a lot of harvest. He, is, he knows that it's very, very important because he's expecting all maturing varieties to select from this place and also high yielding varieties to select from this. Uh, For Joy News, Albert Sorry, Binduri.